I'm Gabe Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comics and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at the Invincible Iron Man issue number 10. Can Ironheart help with the rather tumultuous situation going on in Latveria, or will she only make it worse? Let's hop on in together and find out. All right, so this comic opens up with the action already in progress. Sharon Carter and the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. make their way to Latveria to see what became of Riri and her battle with Baron. Baroness Von Bardis. When they get there, they're absolutely shocked to see that, well, the fighting is already over and has been over for a while now. Riri is out of the costume and trying everything she can to give aid to the Latvarian people in need. The people, including military general Green Bear, aren't only just celebrating Riri as a hero, they're celebrating her as, well, an actual legit leader. And that's because the socio-political climate of Latveria is so messed up now with so many different factions all vying for power that because Riri defeated the Baroness, well, might as well make her the new leader now. You know, despite the fact that she's a teenager and American. The Latvarian people legitimately feel, hey, she can't possibly be as bad as the last leader, are we right? The funny thing, too, is that Ironheart won her battle with Von Bardis pretty quickly, thanks to the help of Hollow Tony, who was able to manipulate a flaw in the Baroness's shield design to trap her inside her own equipment. Now, Riri neither wants nor needs all of this power and authority, and you think it would be just as easy as relinquishing control over to Sharon Carter and S.H.I.E.L.D., only it's not that simple. You'll recall that Carter and S.H.I.E.L.D. more or less coaxed and browbeat Riri into dealing with their lot varia problem, and because of that, the young girl feels that maybe the spy agency wouldn't have the people's best interest at heart. Especially at such a tumultuous and chaotic time where Doom loyalists are still duking it out with the military, who are duking it out with the rebels and about a dozen other factions who are all vying for control. The last thing they need right now is a problem propped up American puppet government. Riri says she's more than willing to relinquish her ceremonial power only on the grounds that Sharon Carter and S.H.I.E.L.D. do everything in their powers to make it so Latveria sees their first ever democratic elections. So that's Invincible Iron Man issue number 10, everybody, and overall I thought it was a fairly cool idea for a story. The big theme of this last arc that Brian Michael Bendis has been trying to get across is this idea that everyone is pulling Riri in a hundred different directions. They want her to be their version of an Iron Avenger. But now she's flipping flipping the script, doing things for herself, and trying to get things done in the world that she would personally like to see. Of course, as with most Bendis works, you have to wonder where exactly this fits into the continuity of infamous Iron Man, wherein it looked like Doom had come down and sorted everything out only for it to all fall to pieces again. Also, while I love seeing Sharon Carter take a bigger role in S.H.I.E.L.D. as an agency, I'm not exactly cool with this idea of her being this morally compromised individual, especially when that's more or less Maria Hill shtick, and especially when you don't don't see her act like that in any of the other Marvel books currently going on right now. Minor nitpicks aside, though, I'd feel comfortable giving this one a 7 out of 10. It was enjoyable. So, that was Invincible Iron Man, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, why not check out some of these other videos I've worked on, and you can follow me on social media at Cape Joel, and if you're looking for a great deal on your next comic book trade, please use my book depository link down in the description. You'll be getting a great deal, and you'll be helping support me and the channel at the same time, so everybody wins. And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again.